how you feel like stigma has impacted you through the journey of living with OCD and then even what you think about as you as you look at it today. When I was in middle school, I felt the shame hugely. Like I, you know, it's, you don't want to be different and you definitely don't want to be different in this way. And it definitely made me feel isolated. It made me feel different. It made me feel like there was something wrong with me that needed to be hidden. And for that reason, I really never talked about it. Not even with close friends. Like it was a part of my personal journey that I sort of tried to leave behind. And as soon as I was well enough to not have it be obvious, like I just wanted to move on from it. Right. And in my adult life, I felt that people would think less of me for it. Maybe I was a little bit, you know, it wasn't quite, it didn't feel quite as existential or quite as scary, but it still felt like, why would I take that risk? Mm. Um, why would I subject myself to that kind of vulnerability and and in the you know on the other parts of my life I was trying so hard to to kind of crush it right I mean I was going to Wharton undergrad and I was working to graduate summa cum laude and I was trying to get like the best jobs and it was just this very like this kind of hard charging period in my life where I was trying to really achieve and you know maybe <laughs> in full reflection maybe I was running away from something I don't know you know but it felt really scary given that that sort of self-image I was creating to be able to admit vulnerability to be able to admit weakness in this way to be able to to share with other people something that feels so imperfect about yourself. Mm. You know, I think that I'd like to be able to say that I'm not self-conscious about it anymore. But, you know, in the spirit of transparency, even sharing all this is not is not always easy. And I think that, you know, it's gotten easier every time I talk about it. It gets just a little bit easier. And, you know, in that way, we're sort of, uh, it feels good to make progress like that. But, you know, I'd, I'd definitely be lying if I said I never still feel some twinge of self-consciousness around it. Oh, it's really interesting to hear you say that. When we first met last year, just in that half an hour conversation, we both disclosed our own mental health histories. And you did so with a particular degree of openness and matter of fact around it and in a way that that made me feel like you were really harnessing the power of that journey to bring you to the point that you are you know in that conversation and and in your life today and so it's it's interesting to hear you speak about how many years it took you to get to that point and still how uncomfortable it can it can sometimes feel to to let people in on what's imperfect to use that word that you used so aptly in in describing it mm -hmm.